Hey everybody, David Henry here from LearnStageLighting.com and in this video I want to introduce you to some new pixel tape from Entech and then later in this video and also later here on YouTube we're going to be talking more about LED tape, pixels, and really how to use these things and most importantly how to make them happen in your show. Now, like I mentioned, this guy is new. This is Entex new RGB pixel tape, 60 pixels per meter, so that's pretty dense. Um, it's actually the same as I've got right back behind me. And um, it's a 12 volt tape with a black backing. Now, here's why this is cool. I wanna do some, some things today. So the first thing I'm gonna do is unbox this. Then I'm gonna tell you why this is so awesome and why you should be excited for it. And uh, after that, we're gonna compare it to some other stuff. So when you unbox this guy, first of all, Entech, I think, deserves a round of applause here. Not only do they make a really nice LED tape that's reasonably priced considering what you get, they do a really good job delivering it to you. So I got this in the box. It was all bubble wrapped up really nice. And it's got a nice notice here uh, before you open it, a seal. Okay, and this just lets you know that, hey, um, this is LED tape. You have to cut it and you have to install it, and it's kind of a DIY product. So, test it beforehand and make sure it works, uh, because they can't do a warranty return after the fact. And, you know, that's great. So you open this up, and there's a couple things that I really like that they've improved with their tapes that, that they hadn't done in the past um, with tapes I'd gotten. The first is that you get a paper inside, and this is great because this is available via PDF online, but it is what they call their installation guide for this particular tape. And so what this guy tells you, I'll put it up on the screen, is how far you can run um, if the power source is at 12 volts right at the end of the tape, what the maximum length of the tape is going to be. They tell you with single with or with dual power injection. They show you where you can cut the tape. They show you how to wire it. They show you if you're doing uh, some different power scenarios, how that works, and how to test if you're having any issues with your tape. Hugely helpful. Don't throw this out. Next, we've got the tape itself. Some cool things to notice about this is it's got some pretty thick wire on the in and out plugs, and it comes with both. So they use a 4-pin JST style connector, and this is a good one, okay? I've used a lot of JST connectors, and... You know, I've fallen prey. I've been the guy who buys the cheap ones on Amazon, and they work okay. But at the end of the day, the cheap connectors on Amazon um, are really fragile. And I, I don't know about you, but I'm a solder once kind of guy, not solder twice. And I'd rather have a great connector. They deliver this on the input and on the output. On the input side, you're also going to see some leads for power. Okay, we'll show you this in a minute when I hook it up. And so if you need to bring in power right at the strip instead of coming from your controller, there's two extra wires to input it there, but they're not stripped. Okay, and so I think that's awesome because I've bought tape from other people before and they often strip these two wires, which I guess is okay, but if you're not going to use them, they could short out and cause problems. All right, two connectors there. We open the bag, and uh, we get some silica gel, and we also have a third connector. Now, I've already hooked it up down here. It's kind of hard to see. Um, so they give you a connector to come out of your controller into the tape. So on the input of the tape, there's a connector to plug into. Then on the output of the tape, there's a connector. And that's great for a variety of reasons. Now, let's talk about this tape in particular. This is, again, the new APX 6012B for black background couple exciting things. First thing you're going to notice here is that the tape itself is uh, quite solid, okay? It's got four wires to it. Now, if you've worked with pixel tape before, you might be saying, David, why are there four wires? Well, usually there's three, but this runs the WS2815 protocol. It's a newer protocol, and it has a backup data. Why do you care about that? Well, if one LED goes out, that's often because, not that the LED died, but that the little driver that's sitting on this tape died. And when that LED dies, everything downstream from it goes out, okay? And that stinks. You gotta cut the LED out or cut the whole section out, replace it, blah, blah, blah. 
if you got this backup data, like this strip has, you don't have to do that. You can have a bad LED, and you can just kind of leave it there. If it's far enough away from people, nobody will probably notice for a while, and you can replace it if you desire when you want. So, that feature alone is awesome. That makes this tape really cool. Another great feature you're going to like is how thick this is, okay? So, if I grab a reel of some Amazon tape here, it can be really hard to see, but I can tell you by feel that if I compare the feel of these two, the Entech tape is so much thicker than the cheap Amazon tape. Let me drop that on the floor. Also, the thing I've noticed is the cheap Amazon tape, I might get, you know, depending on my wire lengths, I might get three or four meters down the line and I have to re-inject power. Why? Because the copper that is on the backing of this tape that carries the power between the pixels is really thin. That's why tape from Amazon or other places can be really cheap, because it's cheap, you know? And um, it's also not as bright as this Entech tape. So what I'm trying to say here is, you know, Entech sent me this tape, and I mentioned that before, I believe. But this is not an Entech commercial, okay? I just want to help educate you to say that, hey, look, I can go, instead of that one, which I might get three or four meters before I've got to re-inject power, I can go seven whole meters. That's this whole 16.4 foot, five meter roll, plus two more meters before I have to add more power. If I dual power inject, I can go 11.3 meters. And that, my friend, I think is awesome. Let's go ahead and plug this in and uh, take a look at it. All right, so I've got this tape running a simple standalone pattern. It's uh, kind of doing a green blue thing across the whole tape. And there's a couple things you might notice. One is it's really bright, okay? It's a really bright tape. You also notice as I move it here, like I mentioned, you, you always want to be careful with LED tape when you're installing it. But one thing you'll notice is that um, it really doesn't bend easily, and that's because it's a really solid really good piece of copper going on behind this and that's what enables it to drive this much distance of tape for you know without having to cut it and, and splice in some new power now another thing you'll want to notice like i mentioned is there's a backup data so how does that work with the ws2815 if you've worked with other led tape before you're not familiar with this backup data well it, it's really simple at the connector level where this comes in all I do coming into my controller is I simply go ahead and I put both datas into the data. So the main data and the backup data, which on this tape is DI for data injection and a BI for backup injection. And these guys, you know, it just works then. So if an LED were to go out on this strip, um, it would be no problemo because it would just go ahead, whoop, hop, to the next, hop right around it, grab that backup data, and be good to go. So, who is this for? You know, a lot of you folks, I know a lot of folks on Learn Stage Lighting are just beginning with lighting. And if you've never done an LED tape project before, you might want to experiment with the cheap stuff. I'm just going to say that here. But if you've worked with tape before, or you want to do a bigger installation, and you want to use an LED tape style product, then I really recommend looking at Entech stuff. Sure, at first, the, the price you see might shock you when you compare it to Amazon tape. But I can tell you from my own experience comparing the Amazon tape to a quality tape like this from Entech or another manufacturer is that when you're on the ground working with it, this one's going to save you a lot of time and frustration. Not only, like we mentioned before, the fact that the power can run so much longer before you have to re-inject power, but also how fragile the cheaper tape is. I don't know how much cheaper tape I've broken before, but I've broken a lot of it working on it. And people I've talked to who work with tape tell me the same things, that the cheap tape as you're working with it, you're soldering on it, you're bending it as you put it into place, it often breaks because it's cheap. And if it doesn't break then, it, it might break down the road, as opposed to... This Entech tape, a quality professional grade tape, is going to last a lot longer, okay? So if you value your time and you count your time as a cost, then 
I would argue that buying a better product that's easier to install is probably a really great idea, you know? You also want to think about color consistency. We all know, or if you don't know, you're going to find out that as LEDs age, they start to change color, especially if they're less expensive LEDs. When you buy from a, a reputable brand like Entech, um, as long as you buy as much as you need at the same time, you're going to get LEDs that are from the same batch, and they're going to match, and they're going to match for the long run. I don't know about you, but maybe you've bought cheap LEDs or a cheap LED fixture before, uh, maybe some LED PARs, and then a year down the road, they all look different in color. Well, that's because less expensive LEDs simply fade faster. It's why they're less expensive. And nicer LEDs keep their color, and they stay consistent over the long run, as, as long as you take care of them. So, I hope you've enjoyed this look at Entech's new tape. Uh, I've had a lot of fun playing with it, and I'm going to be following this up with a short series where we're going to be talking about some LED tape and some pixels. I've, I've done some videos in the past about them, but I want to go a little more in depth as well. So be sure to subscribe here. I don't want you to miss any of that great stuff. And also be sure to check out LearnStageLighting.com. I'll see you guys there. Thanks.